everyone, I'm Hebe and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going through my trash, the products that I finished through the month of October. And I know, again, time is just going by so fast, but enjoy every day. That's all I have to say. Enjoy every day. Alright, well, and here is my trash. Alright, the first product here that I finished is my shower gel from Bath & Body Works, Moonlight Path. I've been using this scent since, probably since it came out years and years ago. And I have the lotion and the scrub, and I already have backups of this, you know, when they have their sale, buy three, get two free, or buy two and get one free, so I've already got my backups for this. I just love the smell. The other product I finished is by May Lindstrom, and it is her Youth Dew. I already have one coming. It's coming in the mail, hopefully sometime this week. And this bottle right here, I think this was the small bottle, 0.68, I believe. It now comes out with a one full ounce size, and it's $140. I know it's on the pricier side, but I really like this serum. I put it on, and it smells heavenly, and it makes my skin dewy. It doesn't make it oily at all, especially around my T-zone right here. So I will have a backup of this, and I also finished the sample size of it. Cute little sample size. When you order it from May Lindstrom, any order you place, you get two free samples, and here are the two free samples that I got that I finished. This one was the Youth Dew sample, and this one is the Jasmine Garden uh, Spray. And I finished this one. I also have the big size of this one. And that one, it's also a little bit on the pricier side. I tried it. When I finish that one, we'll see how I feel with that one. But I like it. I like the smell. I like the jasmine smell, but I like the youth do better. And so those are the products that I finished in that one. Now the next product I have, it is a cleanser, and it is by Farsali, and it is called The One. I like this cleanser. I do have several other cleansers that I want to finish first, and then probably I'll buy this one. I, I like this one. It's all organic. She uses... Um, extracts, plant extracts, and really you just need like a dime size and it foams up and it feels good on the, on the skin and it, and it really does clean up my makeup. Again, when I finish my other cleansers, because I've got several, I will be getting this one. Now this cleanser right here, it's a exfoliating cleanser and it is by Lovely Skin and it is their Microdermabrasion Polish. I like this. This is my second bottle of this and I'm on my third and when Lovely Skin have their sale, I will be getting a backup of that one. I like this because it doesn't have plastic beads for the exfoliation. It has, they call it algae beads, so it's good for the environment, so I really like that. So I will be getting the backup for what I'm using now. This one here, it's by Skin Cuticles and it's their CE Ferulic and I believe with this size, this is the 0.5 ounce, half ounce. I believe I got this in a kit of something. I can't remember why I got the small size. But I like this vitamin C serum. I do have a Drunk Elephant one. So, and I like this one too. And I, you know, I try to kind of change to kind of, you know, won't let my face get used to the same products. I hope that makes sense. So whenever I finish my Drunk Elephant, I will be getting the Skin Cuticles one, especially when they have them on sale. That's pretty much the only time to buy these, when they're on sale. Now this mask here is by Peter Thomas Roth, and it is their Cucumber Mask. This one I got in a kit, like in a, a gift with purchase. It sits well on my face, it made my face feel good, but not enough for me to purchase the, uh, the big size, so... Unless I get in another gift with purchase, I probably won't be getting this one. Now, another sample I got, the, pretty much the rest are all samples in the skincare. This one's by Cicely Paris, and it is their Black Rose Cream Mask. Also, I got this one as in a gift with purchase. I like how it gives my face moisture, but this is a pricey product, and... Mm, I probably would not buy the big size on this one. 
mm, I do like it. I like how it smells. I like how it made my face hydrated, but I have other products that does the same thing that costs less. Mm, unless I get another sample, then I'll use it, but to buy it, probably not. Now these two products here, I got it in the Derm Store Beauty Fix subscription box. This is the Arcona Cranberry Grommage Exfoliating Cleanser and the Aven Mask. Now I like the Aven Mask. I will be getting more of that one. But this one, I like the smell, but it was a little harsh on my skin. The beads in there, I don't know what it was, but it just, it just a little rough on my skin, so I probably won't be getting this one. This one I got a sample, and it's Glytone. This is the Rejuvenating Mini Peel Gel. Yeah, no, I won't be getting this one. This one, when I put it on my face, it smelled like when you walk into a nail salon, you can smell that acrylic. That's the only thing that, that comes to mind. And I did not like the smell of this. I couldn't even tell you how it looked on my skin because I just couldn't bear the skin. I could even smell that acrylic on my face for days. So no on that one. Now the next one here is by La Mer. I will be getting my La Mer products. This one here, I've been using this cream for years before I really kind of stepped up my skincare um, routine, but I always tend to go back to this one. I love, uh, you know, my first love. <laughs> but yes, I will be getting, and I like the size because it's good for travel and, you know, if you get the big size and you don't use it every day, this is, you don't want it to go bad. So I like this size. So yes, I will be getting the La Mer. I like the soft cream better than the original cream. It just has a nicer slip on my face when I put it on. Now these two products here I got also in a gift with purchase. One from Nordstrom and one from Barney's, I believe. And it is by 111 Skin. It's a brand in... England. And this one here, this one is the Y Theorem Repair Serum. This is what I got from Nordstrom. And this one is the Cryo Activity Gel. And I like them both. I like these both. The only problem is, is the price. This one here for the one ounce size, it's $350. And this one here, it's $200. But I checked on the website in England, and if you buy it in England, in the English pounds, it's 190 English pounds, which equals to 250 US dollars. I know I did my research because I really like this. <laughs> and then this one here, it's here for $200, but over there it's $125, no, 125 English pounds. And when you convert it for today's dollar, this one comes up to be 156 if you buy it over there, 156 US dollars. So unless I go to England, I'd like to buy it with the price over there. Or I may just bite the bullet and buy it off the 111 Skins website and hopefully we'll convert it to the dollar rate. I hope that makes sense. But I mean, I did my research. I really like these products. I really like them. The other one that I like that's also in the pricier side is by 3Lab, and this is their Perfect Cream. And I like this one too. I like, I, when I got these samples, I usually put this one, then this one, and then the 3Lab. These three worked great on my skin. I really like it. Eventually, I would really like to get these products. Eventually, I really would. All right, and the next product here is by Sugar, and it is their lip treatment. And I have a backup of this one. And I like this one. Look look at the applicator. It's got like little scrubby thingies there. So when I use this one in the shower and it just kind of just feels good. Just kind of scrape off all the dead skin. Especially now that it's getting colder. Of course here in Dallas it doesn't get that cold. But with winter months and the drying months, I really like this. This is really nice. Now my two makeup products that I have, one's a mascara, and this is by Bobbi Brown, and this is the Eye Opening Mascara. I like this too. Look at, look at that brush, look at that 
that wand. It's a huge, huge brush there, applicator. I like how it gives my lashes volume. And when I finish up some of my other mascaras, I will be getting this one too. Now the other one here is by Smashbox and it is their Photo Finish Primer. I like this size. I like to travel with this one. And I already have another one of this one. I like how this feels on my skin. And it really does make my foundation sits really well. So I already have a backup of this one. And my sheet masks. I, <laughs> I go through with these. I go through a lot of these. The only one here that's different is the Fit Mask, the Almond Fit Mask. I love, I love this. I love how when I put it on, it just makes me feel, <sighs> at the end of the day. Mm. So yes, this one's, uh, I will re rebuy that one. And this one's by Flora, Flora P. I will be getting this one. I won't go through all of these, but these are just the main ones that I really like. By Tony Moly, this one's good. By Dr. Jart, this one's really good. Bosha, Lancome, these are the really nicer ones, the expensive ones. And Peter Thomas Roth, these three right, right here are really nice. And the rest here, are, you know, they range from a dollar on up. And I really like these. I'll list these down below so you can see, but I didn't want to go through all of these. Now this one I bought, it's for the home, and this is by Antica. Pharmacista, I believe that's how you say. And this is the lavender and lime. Mmm, this smells good. I bought this, and this is the small size. I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And so that was July, August, September, October. So this lasts three months. I think the next time I probably will get the bigger one because that one seems to last longer. And I think probably for the price, it'd probably be better. So I will be getting this one again because it just smells so good. Probably in the new year. I'll probably get a new one in the new year. Because during the holidays, during this month, I just like Christmassy smell. You know, pumpkin smell, fall smell, candy smell. Mm. Alright, now the last thing I finished, it is a book. And it is the Game of Thrones. I finished this book. It took me a couple months to finish it, but I finished it. And this one, you know... I do watch the TV show. I love the TV show. It's an excellent, excellent series. And the book kind of helped me kind of see what was in the character's mind during the first season. This is in the first season book. So I really like how, how you know, reading the book or actually seeing the show first and reading the book. That, that's better for me. So I will be starting the, the second book pretty soon. And I believe that is it. Those are the products that I finished for the month of October. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.